It's time for another gas mask test and today we have the um, Czechoslovakian M10M. Now this is a clone of the US M17 respirator but not a direct clone of it, there's some differences with this one. A lot of people have been request requesting I either do this or the OM10. I don't actually own an OM10. The difference between this and an OM10 is that it's got the drinking tube on it. The OM10 is basically just this bit of the mask, no drinking tube and the cheek filters. So for purposes of testing they'll be absolutely identical. Uh, this is a cheek filter mask, meaning that you can't get new filters for them. And the filters from this one are probably since the 70s or the 80s. Um, if I can get the date of the mask somewhere, I'll be able to tell you what the actual filters are, probably. Ah. I think that's 86 it says on there, which means the filters are probably a very similar time period, so they're going to be 20 plus years old. Probably, you know, 24, 20, yeah, 25 plus years anyway on those. So let's test this mask. I have a couple of, I don't have an actual M17 because um, they're incredibly hard to get in the UK because American masks are banned from import, so you only get them when you luckily see somebody selling them. Um, so I don't have an M17, so I can't test the official M17, I can test this. I also have the Polish version of an M17 and the um, Bulgarian version, which I can test at a later point if people want me to do that. Out of all the Warsaw packed um, M17 clones, this is by far the best because it's Czech. Even the satchel bag on this mask is incredibly well made. It's probably my favourite satchel bag of any of the masks I own from any country. So a good bit of technology here, uh, let's test it and see how it works. Right, I've got the mask on. I can't demonstrate because there's two sides that it's airtight. I did it before I started filming and it is airtight. It's actually quite a comfortable mask despite being so big. Um, the filters don't weigh very much but it's a clunky chunky mask. Um, I'm also going to spray far more deodorant, well deodorant, air freshener this time because a few people in the other video said it'd be more effective if I do more. I already seem to you know, have a strong reaction to this stuff in the enclosed space, but why not? If you want to see me gas myself for more of it, let's gas myself for more of it. So, here we go. Right, that should definitely do it. I'm not looking forward to taking this mask off now. Okay, so, this is a clone, as I said, of the USM17 respirator. It's, I don't have a watch on, so I'm just going to have to guess them at the time. Uh, so it uses cheek filters. Now, you said you can't get new cheek filters. It's um, a redundant type of mask. In my opinion, I don't like cheek filter masks because cheek filters are incredibly difficult to change over. And you can't actually change the filter over in a NBC scenario. Unlike a you know canister mask where you can just unscrew it and screw a new one on, with a cheek filter mask you have to take the mask off, prise it open and try and shove a filter in. Which is difficult even when you're trying to do it, just you know, to put the filters in the mask. But saying that, you get very good vision with these masks. They're quite comfortable, they're not too heavy. And uh, yeah, they're uh, good masks. So. I can't smell absolutely anything at the moment, so I know the mask's doing its job. And I am not looking forward to taking this mask off, because I know for a fact it will be a strong effect. Now, an important thing to know, actually, is I just caught a tiny whiff of air freshener, but not enough to make me gag. So the filters seem to be working at probably like 95% effectiveness. Now, if this mask had modern filters, that wouldn't be a problem. But as I said, they don't make these filters, as far as I'm aware, for these type of masks anymore. So, this mask in particular wouldn't protect you in an NBC scenario, because obviously if I can smell a tiny bit of the air freshener coming through, it means the mask's been compromised. And that isn't due to the rubber on the mask, that is simply due to um, the filters obviously getting old. However, if you were using this against tear gas, against smoke or something like that, it would still be very effective. But these are more, you know, collector's masks now. They don't, because of the old filter design, they're not something you'd want in a survival scenario as much as people like these design masks. 
Right, I think that's long enough. We know that the mask's working pretty well because I'm not coughing and I can only just catch a very faint whiff of air freshener. But taking it off, we'll see what happens.